Hello everybody, my name is Jack from Fee Park UK and today I'm back with Dan. Hello. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> as you can see I have my Francis Jackson TripAdvisor profile back up, which means one thing, we're doing reviews again. Uh, right, Alton Towers, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're doing Alton Towers this time because we have Alton no other Alton ideas. Towers. Well, at least this time, well, they might be, but we won't find out that there's drugs on the floor everywhere. Yes. Oh, also, um, forgot to mention, there'll be a video on Dan's channel. We're oh, doing, oh, yes. uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> which part, is better. Which is better, yes. Uh, which I've, is, yeah. oh, well, I'm just, okay. It's about uh, which rides are better, like Nemesis and Nemesis Inferno and Smiler and Swarm. You get the idea. Oh god. So the the top words used in reviews are Alton Towers, Theme Park, CBB's Land, Fast Track Tickets, Big Rides, Q Times, Sonic Spinball, Nemesis Subterra, you can tell this is old, Scare Mazes, Runaway Train, Ice Age, for some reason, Jesus, Log Flume, Merlin Passes, Free Tickets, End of the Day, Longest Queue, and Popular Rides. <laughs> uh, so this one was... In 2004. <laughs> Wait, when's your birthday? Uh, August. Oh, alright, you were born. It's fine. Oh. Uh, the, the... the first one on here you weren't. So they, the, the title is Go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach instead. Okay, no need to flex that you're like five months older than me. This person says that uh, it's meant to be a major attraction in England. There are six major rides. The staff seemed not interested and just happy to take your money. The meal was revolting. We paid £17.50 for fish and chips and pie and chips, two drinks. Sounds sounds about right. Fish was cold, very, very gressy. Chips, cold pie, cold and seemed not cooked. When we complained, woman just walked away and did not answer our, our question. This place is lower than low take. My advice, go to a different theme park. Not worth the money or time. I did write to them, but no reply or any comment whatsoever. Not a nice place. Mm, lovely. This one says about how they missed the flume. So you'd expect it to start off with like, oh, I used to love the ride, but oh well. And yeah. um, it just says, I went to Alton Towers last Sunday with two of my friends, and we were all very excited to check out the new wooden coaster. Fair enough. However, after almost waiting two hours in the scorching heat, along with high temperature flames for the, from the ride's theming, oh, no. <laughs> suddenly the flame make the, uh, the entire day hotter. I'm sad to say that the flume was so much better. They literally replaced the nation's favourite log flume with a giant human-killing wooden sauna. <laughs> All the towers will never be quite the same without that iconic GMO duck scaring you and your mates halfway through your bathtub cruise. That was that was the weirdest thing I've ever, I've ever what's, written. What's a GMO? I have no idea. Let me search that up. Genetically modified organic... That can't be right. <laughs> Oh, yikes. What's Sadly, it? similar to many other recent visitors, I visited a day with my wife, 30-minute queue for monorail. Not a good start, but in by 10.30, straight to Wicker Man. It was a bit busy, fair enough, we expected that. Stood there for 30 minutes, near the front, ride stops. Sounds about right for Wicker Man, especially in 2018. People shouting to get off, waited a bit, ride closed, and was then closed all day. Did it close all day? don't know. Any day? Probably. I don't know. Probably um, not. Went to Nemesis, okay, 10 minute queue, happy. Galactica advertised 40 minutes, 1 hour 10, very slow. Nemesis again, tried to get, to try to get money's worth, 20 minutes. So apparently changing the queue time to 20 minutes on Nemesis is trying to get money, but. Uh... Oh, look, we waited to two hours to go on Rita. Sounds like someone else did that recently. I don't know who did do that recently. Hmm, not sure. It's not like uh, someone else did uh, th th that same person shouted my name on Wicker Yeah, Man, yeah. It's not like... Which I didn't hear. It's not like me and a certain Theme Park UK admin uh, <laughs> queued two hours for... <laughs> for mistake. For, for Rita. <laughs> that was a big mistake. <laughs> One second. My parent, my mum's just got, I've got to say hello. Alright. Hello. Uh... Hello. I've got one. Rip off. Went yesterday as a family of six for six hours. I knew I should go on three rides. Horrendous wait for each ride, all over an hour. Then to top it off, you have to queue 
to pay six pounds to leave the place wouldn't couldn't wait to leave a complete waste of, of a lot of money definitely a place to avoid well one you can pay for parking in advance uh yeah. and two it's not their fault the park's busy like people always complain about parks being busy and they should be like they should limit tickets but like why would they do that it is a business at the end of the mm. day and also oh well, i don't know about you but like when you go to a park and it's not busy you take advantage of it when it is busy you just go oh obviously ones that are like if smile has a two hour wait you're not going to wait that because it's just not worth it because you've been on it before but when you go to a park it's like oh I'm going to queue 45 to an hour for Wicker Man again because I haven't been on it in a while. It's not like, I'm not queuing for that. That's too long a queue and they're probably lying and fast tracks there. I'm not going to go on that. Yeah. Oh, I found a good one. Uh, it's terrible review. Uh, October, <laughs> so it's uh, Scarefest. Uh, the, the title is in big capital letters. If only the ride wasn't cancelled when you bought a fast track. Um, right, it's been cancelled. It's been cancelled. So, <laughs> right, been coming here for the uh, for the past four years now with my friend, and on Sunday was the worst experience of our life. Queues were exceptionally long at times due to the overcrowded park. Two hours to park, bumping into people left, right, and centre. <laughs> Paid for a parking ticket of six pounds on top of ninety-two pounds to get in. Each to get in? What do you mean ninety-two pounds each to get in? What ticket is ninety two you... pounds? <laughs> Just buys like five season passes sure, per person. Sure, surely, the... surely ninety two would be two people if you bought on the day. Around that, yeah. Yeah. But what what made me laugh is um where he says that he, uh, two hours to park, bumping into people left, right, and centre. <laughs> Cars suddenly become a dodging car. That's yes. <laughs> I can oh. imagine that in my head. Oh god. Right. Before I even got to go on a ride, we waited 30 minutes at the monorail entrance while the staff messed around. Got stuck on the grass car park, fell over on the wet sheets they put across the grass. That are a oh, health and safety funny. hazard in the dark when they're wet. <laughs> <laughs> Paid for the bronze fast track to be turned away from 13 and it was closed. They then said we could use it on any ride of our choice except the Wicker Man, which isn't the greatest of rides either. So me and what? my friend asked if we could use it on the Smiler and they said yes. Just not the Wicker Man. We made our way to the Smiler and was rudely turned away by the, by the most rudest person I've ever met. She said the woman and man we had spoken to just rang and said apparently they said not Wicker Man or Smiler. I worked in the customer service myself and wouldn't dare speak to a customer like that. I also witnessed a staff member pressuring people, including myself, into gambling on stands to win toys, which is not on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Because someone's standing there and going, hey, do you want to play this game? And you go, nah, that's pressurizing <laughs> that's people. Pressuring into gambling. <laughs> so, okay, like, true life story. So one day I went to Morton Towers and I walked past one of them kicker football in the goal games. And All right. uh, the, the man there asked me, oh, mate, do you want to come and, and play? You could win a cuddly toy. And I said, yeah, sure, mate. So I, I paid the three pound uh, to play. And so I did it. And I lost, and I kept doing it, and because of that, I developed a gambling addiction, and now I'm two thousand pounds in debt. The same goes for me. We are. There was a basketball bit near X Sector, and we were like, "Oh my god, there's actually Pikachu like massive plush toys up there. We really want some." So we paid them about uh, seven hundred fifty thousand pounds, and they bought Wicker Man, and we just chucked basketballs at them, and then we played the golf, and won a Mini Cooper and a thousand pounds, and then. Went to the towers and we renovated it. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you all soon. Go check out the video uh, on Dan's channel. Will be a link yeah. in the description. It should be out at the same time. Yeah. As this one, so sometime I'm soon. Sure. Uh, but yes, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you have enjoyed. And, and the others are here. <laughs> yeah, a time. But uh, uh. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you all soon. Bye. Goodbye. They they're all huge.